can see on the edge they've done a good job of, of planting different tree species and then it gradually they've got a good slope on it so you've got a, a fringe of aquatic vegetation and then in the open water it's deeper but not so deep that you can't have the submergence and the emergent species all there so you have vegetation over a good part of the pond and it's only a small area that's open you want that open area so that things like ducks and different birds can use that water source and also you want it deep enough so that with water fluctuations you can have the survival of things like turtles and frogs because when it freezes over solid they need that mud deep in the water so it never actually freezes down there and they can overwinter and survive.